So from my understanding, there are two types of premature ejaculation. There's lifelong PE, which a lot of guys can be born with, meaning they've dealt with PE ever since they've started being sexually active, versus acquired PE, which may be they were fine during their earlier ages, but they started experiencing symptoms of premature ejaculation later on in life. Can you explain what the difference between the two are? That's exactly right. So there's two forms of premature ejaculation, lifelong and acquired. So when it comes to acquired, this is generally um, in, you know, it's in the context of certain situations. Uh, sometimes it's a relationship, but a particular type of relationship causes anxiety. Therefore, you are experiencing premature ejaculation in the context of a particular situation. However, lifelong premature ejaculation is more related to abnormal hormone levels, specifically brain hormone levels that are impacting the way uh, your body and your brain is triggering an orgasm. Therefore, um, that lasts a lot longer and therefore that we have to treat that very differently than we do acquired PE. It's very true. On the hormonal side, serotonin is actually one of the neurotransmitters that's most associated with premature ejaculation. So when visiting a physician like Dr. Human or a urologist in your local area, it's important to have those sorts of discussions to determine whether you've been dealing with lifelong PE or whether it's a more recent development and falls under the acquired PE front.